I've made so many things, but I've never made a person. Look at me, Darth Tater, best inventor in the world! Okay, now walk. Now, let's hear you talk. Dog. <laughs> your name is Steven. What's your name? Steven. <laughs> Good boy. And I am your boss. My name is Darth Tater. Darth Potato. <laughs> Look, guys, I made a person. That's, um, interesting. Can it talk? He can talk. His name is Steven, with a P. As in S-T-E-P-H-E-N? No, it's pronounced Steven, and it's spelled P-T-H-E-V-E-N. Hello! Hi, Steven. It's so cool to meet you. Wow, Darth Tater, you're really good at what you do. Hello! Hi, my name is Banana. Hello! Okay, can we start already? All alone. Beaver sad. Ah, uh, things keep falling on him. <laughs> oh, well, don't stay here too long before the imposter gets you. <sighs> what is imposter? It's the person on the ship who has to sabotage stuff and kill crewmates to win the game. It's a poster. People oh. don't like upholstery. Yeah, Sandy. So the simple thing to do when you don't understand something is to read a book or <laughs> Google it. But why should I do that when I could just ask you? You're so smart. Oh, Sandy. Uh, what? Google. <gasps> How to use. Uh. Come along, we'll show you. Where's your daddy? He should have taught you these things. Imposter, how did that even happen? You're not a real player. Oh boy. Even is real. Ah. Yes, yes. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to make you sad. Let me help you out of there. Then I'll help you become the best imposter ever. <laughs> Yay! Ah. So, the first thing you want to try is to kill a crewmate. We won't tackle sabotaging yet, because I think it's a bit too complicated for you. Kill! Good. We're getting somewhere. Now, look in this room. Snowball is all alone. Easy target. Kill him! You tried to kill me! He didn't try hard enough. Come on, Steven. Try again. No! In the photo room. Was anyone around? No, I was just wandering through the hallway and I happened to look in there. 
There was no one else around. Not even your mom? No, we had to split up for a while to get our tasks done. You killed my snowball! What? No, it wasn't me, I swear. I just found him. So who did it then? Well, that's what we're trying to find out here. Who has been behaving suspiciously? You? Yes, Mr. Gritz. You're suspicious. But you guys have no real evidence. Yes, we do. There was no one around. He found the body. It's a self-report. Simple. I think you're the imposter and you're trying to blame me. Oh, don't try that. Can we just vote already? So, this is how you sabotage. Here's a sort of computer. You tap on the thing you want to destroy. For example, let's destroy comms. Okay! Ah! So, now all the players are going to come try to fix it. We won't look suspicious because we're the first ones here. Let's just pretend like we're trying to fix it. See? That went well, didn't it? Yes! Now, stand by the door and I'll show you something cool. Okay, Steven, now press on electrical. All the lights will go off, don't be scared. The other players will be in darkness, but you will be able to see. I want you to kill the first player you see. I discovered the bodies near comms. I was on my way to the cockpit. Any susses? Yeah, was anybody around? No. I wonder who did this. Who killed Poop and Mr. Pepperoni Man? <laughs> He's kidding. That's just a joke I taught him, right, Steven? <laughs> right. He's funny, isn't he? And so cute. Okay, so back to the point. Who did this? I think it's Ninja. Why? I don't remember seeing him in electrical. It was dark, and I'm black. So how could you see me in there? It was you. Yeah, I don't remember seeing him either. We're, We're sad, sad and, and it's, it's all your, your fault. This is the best place to kill people. As soon as you see a crewmate, kill him or her. But if there's anyone else around, don't do anything because they'll report you. Uh, I want to play with the wires. <laughs> uh, so colorful. Uh, can I eat? No! Uh! Gosh, this has got to be the dumbest imposter who ever lived, and I made him. What a shame. Hi, ladies. What's going on here? We're eating and watching TV. We're too sad without our boyfriends. There's more to life than boys. The world doesn't stop revolving when they leave us. Why don't you get up and finish your tasks? Uh, maybe in a while. Yeah, just one more episode. See you later, Eva. Oh. <gasps> it's Steven. What? He's not even a real player. You were right there. Don't try to pretend like you don't know what happened. Your mom, well, are you okay? I'm fine. Well, no, I'm not really fine. I just watched Steven kill Sandy right in front of me. And besides, Steven and I were nowhere near there. I think Darth Tater is right. I was just in there and I didn't see them. It was just your mom and Sandy. Then it must be her. I don't think Steven could be the imposter. Right, Steven? Right, Steven. Ah, can I have hamburger? Ah, ah. He can barely talk. You think he can hold a gun and aim it? 
good try, your mom. Good effort earlier, but don't kill the crewmates when there are other crewmates around. I told you this before. Make an effort to remember. What happened earlier with Sandy and your mom is unacceptable. What unacceptable mean? <sighs> Gosh, how did I make you so dumb? Darth Vader, so mean. Well, maybe I'd be nicer if you were smarter. Oh, you, you hurt beefy feelings. Ah. How sad. Oh, beefy kill you now. What? What on earth just happened? My creation killed me. That's what. I'll have him destroyed immediately. Good idea. Or we could just throw him outside and let him float through space forever. That's mean. Let's do it. I can't wait for our vacation. Me too. Where are we staying again? In this old cabin in the woods. Ugh, sounds spooky. Don't worry, babe. I'll be here to protect you. Aww. <sighs> Ag, get a room. Are we there yet? We'll be there in 10 minutes. Not long now. Yay! Yeah. Now that we're here, it does look kind of creepy. Yeah. Come on, guys. Cheer up. This will be so much fun. Plus, we're all together. We'll be fine. Yeah, and besides, there's no such thing as ghosts. Uh, if you say so. Come on, follow me. I don't know about this, guys. Yeah, this is... This is scary. Agreed. Um, don't worry. We'll be fine. Let's make the most out of the vacation. Cheer up. Guys, I can't take it anymore. It's too scary in there. We have to leave now. But no butts, no coconuts. We're going. Sorry, Ninja, but vacation time is over. Wait, look, I know this vacation didn't turn out to be the fun time we hoped it would be, but we can still make something out of this. Hey. Why don't we play a game of hide and seek? Ooh, I love hide and seek. Me too. Yeah, we can play hide and seek and we can forget about all the weird things that keep happening. You know what? I'm with Ninja on this one. Me too. We don't get to go on vacation that often. Let's make the most of it. Uh, okay. Oh, why do I feel like we're making a huge mistake? Don't worry, Sandy. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, anyone else hear that ominous music? Okay, I'll be seeker first. Ready? Ready? Ready! Ready. All right, I'll give you one minute. 
Starting now. 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54. Paul doing here? into you guys. This place is haunted. I know it. Someone whispered in my ear. Something brushed my head. Guys, you're overreacting. It's fine. There's no such thing as ghosts. There's no such thing as monsters. You're all just letting your imaginations run wild. If you stop and think rationally, you'll see what I mean. Um, ninja? What? <laughs> second banana it's nice to meet you all nice nice you're trying to kill us kill you what makes you think that uh you just shut all the doors on us to stop us from escaping i didn't want you to head outside at night it could be dangerous out there what about all the spooky stuff we all kept experiencing before like what the whispers the sounds the spooky hands grabbing at you in the darkness? Oh, <laughs> those are just my pets. Pets? Ah! Ew! See, my pets, they can be quite cheeky sometimes. Aren't you? Aren't you? So, you're not trying to kill us and eat our dead corpses? Of course not. <sighs> <sighs> Who are you, Mr. Siren Guy Head Person? My name's Siren Head. Hi, Siren Head. Hi, Siren Head. Tell us, what brings you here? Huh. Well, I could ask the same about you. This is my home, you see. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> don't worry, no biggie. Travelers come here all the time. I think people have forgotten that I live here. Either that or they don't make it back alive. So, uh... Siren Head. Siren Head. Do you mind telling us, um, what... What, um... What are you? Banana! That's rude! But, uh... What exactly are you? <laughs> well... I have the ability to release sounds of news broadcasts, human conversations, sirens, and screams. 
But be careful, because sometimes my cries can kill people. <laughs> I'm also really strong. Due to my size, I can break down trees or various heavy objects at will. I'm also really fast. A cheetah can run 80 miles per hour. I can move at 90 miles per hour. I can also blend into my surroundings. I know you were all playing hide and seek before. Guess how I know. How? I was hiding right beside you. <gasps> I can also change my appearance. I can be a telephone pole, or a bunch of pipes, or electric wiring, even a lamp. Wow, you'd be the best at hide and seek. <laughs> I guess so. Hey guys, we should have a game with Siren Head. Of hide and seek? No, that would be too easy. What about Among Us? Yes. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Come on. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's settled. Are, are you down, Siren Head? Sure. You guys are so nice. It's the least we can do. We're the ones who crashed your home. dead body in the bathroom. Hmm, how did so many people die so quickly? It's almost like the imposter is good at hiding. Hmm. Oh, you think it's me? Ata? I don't know, Jeff. I'm kind of suspecting it's you. Me? Yeah, I agree with Eva. Siren Head would never kill any of us. He's too nice. Right, Siren Head? Right. See? He's obviously lying. Sorry, Jeff. My mind's made up. I'm really sorry, Jeff. Better luck next time. Oh, I'm so yeah. happy! <laughs> Woohoo! We did it! <laughs> Siren Head? You okay? Sorry, guys, but an imposter's gotta do what an imposter's gotta do. <gasps> Siren Head? How could you? <laughs> I lied. Of course I'm gonna eat you. I just wanted to play with my food before I dug in. <gasps> <gasps> so it was all a lie? You're not our friend? It's up to you, Siren Head. Are you gonna eat us? Or be a better person? Meh. I'll be a monster.
hungry. Wanna go get tacos, guys? Hey, Poop. Great idea. Sure. Uh, sorry, I can't. I have something to do. Okay, see you later. doing after the game today? Uh, chest and triceps, I think. This clearly isn't going to work out. Get it? Work out! Jeff, I don't think that's what she meant. You know what? N never mind. He's busy, but I'm free, Eva. Hey! Looking great, Jeff. Gains. Thanks, guys. <laughs> the imposter, but I can't concentrate on this game. I need to work out. This won't cut it at all. Cardio is not enough for games. This imposter is boring. Everyone is alive and almost all the tasks are done. Yeah, I'm bored. Let's do something fun. I know, let's have a pet competition. Let's see who can train their pet to listen to all their commands. But I'd have an unfair advantage because Henry, he's sort of like a person already. Oh yeah, Rompers is way smarter. Napoleon is a robot. I can program him to do anything I want. I'm going to win. Let's meet in Cargo Bay in 30 minutes, and we'll see who wins. <laughs> it's gonna be me. What does the winner get? $500. Cool. Mommy's gonna buy a cute little doghouse for her little rumpy dumpy. <sighs> hmm, time for another protein shake. Oh, hat, you're so funny. Banana, where did you get that talking hat? Oh, uh, this thing? It just started talking one day. It? I am a person. <laughs> yes, sure you are. How's your ice cream? It's wonderful. Yeah, don't share with me. It's totally fine. <laughs> you can have some, hat. Hey, Eva! What does Banana think he is? Oh, I'm so angry. I'm going to destroy something. Hello, Darth Tater. Oh, uh, hi, Jeff. Where's Chester? Uh, I don't know. Great, great. <gasps> <laughs> Wow, dude, you're getting even bigger. I'm the strongest guy alive. And so humble about it, too. Anyway, goodbye. What? Oh, no. It looks like he died in a really unusual way, too. Where? Where? Oh no, Darth Tater! I found him in the cockpit, but it looks like he died in a strange way. What do you mean? His body. It was just in a strange position. Like, I've never seen that before. Any susses? There was no one around. Well, I guess we should just skip then. Yeah, let's just skip. 
Okay, guys, but after we skip, please join Poop, your mom, and me in the cargo bay. We're having a pet competition. Ooh, sounds fun. Can I play? It's not a game, and you're not a pet. Oh. No, don't be sad. You can be a judge. Yay! Okay, first up, rompers. Wait, you can't be the announcer. You're a participant. Hey guys, we need an announcer. I'll do it. Yay! First up, Sandy and rompers. Rompers, fetch! Fetch! Fetch the stick, rompers! Wow, excellent. What an intelligent creature. Next up, your mom and Napoleon. Go fetch the ball, Napoleon. Oh, come on. Fetch the ball. <sighs> you got the second-hand robot, your mom. My toothbrush is smarter than he is. You don't even have teeth. <laughs> Next up, Poop and Henry Stickman. Henry, go fetch the ball and the stick. Show him who's boss. That $500 is ours. I should have known this would happen. The judge has made his final decision, and the winner is Pat. Aw, oh, come on. <laughs> In the brig. I was doing a task in the engine room when Henry asked me to follow him. I went and saw Poop lying there dead. Henry asked you to follow him? We all know he can't talk. He can't even fetch a ball for crying out loud. Good point. Wasn't it you who reported the last murder? Yes, but that's all coincidental. I promise. Lies! Hurry and vote this guy off so I can work out. These games aren't gonna make themselves. No! It wasn't me. Yes, it was. Ah! Oh, no! Ah! Where? Oh, no! Poor banana! We were in the cockpit. I was looking through the window, and then I heard a shot. When I turned around, Banana was dead. In other words, you killed Banana. What? No, I'd never do that. Your own friend. Wait, guys, you're being too harsh. I don't think Eva would kill Banana. They were having such a good time together. And that's sad, isn't it? How your friends just turned their back on you in an instant, just to win a game. Oh, be quiet, Snowball. You've done that so many times. I've heard of all the things you've done to Sandy just to win. Ah, so you're admitting it was you. No, that's not what I meant. Guilty. No. Oops, I thought if I got rid of Banana, I'd have Eva to myself, but that didn't work out too well. Snowball was the last to arrive. It's him. No, I think it's you, Mr. Gritz. This is so confusing. But where was Jeff? Working out, duh. I think Mr. Gritz is right. Me too. Sorry, Sandy. Go away, Jeff. What? There's no need to be rude. But you helped them to throw my snowball off the ship. Uh, whatever. I'm tired of this conversation. Turn around so you won't have to watch me kill you. What? No!
Good game, Jeff. I never suspected you. Thanks. Yeah, good game. Hey, I was thinking, what are we gonna do with the prize money since none of us won? Give it to Jeff so he can buy more protein powder. <laughs> Jeff, if you get any bigger, you won't be able to fit on the ship. <laughs> Let's go buy some more tacos.